Hello everybody and welcome back to Minecraft Create Above and Beyond. Um, just as a quick disclaimer, if you see in the chat it says Creative Survival, I did not get any resources as you can see. Um, the only thing I did do was I got a couple of birds, but that's because I was looking around just really quickly to see if I couldn't find a cave and I found out that there are no caves within about 500 blocks in any direction and I couldn't find a cave at all so based on that information what we're gonna do is we're gonna strip mine so I didn't want to waste everybody's time by just doing another video and then recording just looking around and not finding anything um, so that's why I did that now typically I don't go into creative mode because I, I don't want to do that right but I wanted to make sure that our time wasn't wasted and I don't have really the whole lot of time just to sit around and not you know and do all of that right so we're gonna do what we've got to do um you need to die zombie alright killed you alright anyway let's go ahead and sleep the night away and um then we'll go out and uh well, we're going to do some strip mining in the house here. Here's another zombie. There we go. Alright. Regardless, I found a waypoint marker over there that shows you... Just basically shows you there's a couple villages within about a thousand blocks from home. We found one of them, and the other one was right next to it. We just didn't see it. Um, which is perfectly fine. But anyway... Like I said, the only reason I went into creative was just to search around and find stuff. You can see I didn't add any anything in here. I didn't add anything in here or in here. And there's no changes to the landscape whatsoever. All I did was fly up and see if I could see any caves, and I could not find any. So, with that said, what we're going to do is we're going to find our center point. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... So that would be one, two, three, four, five. It's going to be these two right here, and we're going to dig this way. And um, I'm actually not going to use that for the mining. We'll use that for an, our new campfire skillet setup, but we'll do that in a little bit because this I want to do first. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen. All right, that's perfectly fine. We don't need that much. Only need twelve. seems like charcoal is very good at smelting in this version so if you wonder what that sound is I'm drinking a little bit of sweet tea out of uh, a water bottle um, and while that's cooking I want to clear this whole mountainside area out so that we can have a nice view from our new window because there's no point in just having a window view with nothing to see, right? I would hope that y'all agree. I'm gonna get rid of some of this granite by burying it underneath here. Replace this with cobblestone. Let's make a new shovel. Let's replace that one when it breaks, okay. Put some dirt. There we go. All right. Let's just make this whole wall a window. How about that? That'll be good. Do a little bit of base building today um, because we're just going to be strip mining for iron, so there's no point in, you know, doing all this mess and not, you know, getting anything. 
we may as well do a little bit of just terraforming and base building while we're here at home. So that's what we're going to do. Now, why couldn't I build, have built it higher up in the mountain and just had an overview? I mean, that would have been one way to do it, but honestly, I like the way it looks further down, kind of closer to the ground right now. And once we get further along, we're going to be moving our base anyway, so there's no point in trying to readjust where it's at now when we've got all of our stuff already in it, you know, whereas in the future, we're going to create a new area. So. We need another shovel because the wood, or the shovel is running low. Okay, I guess charcoal doesn't, does just about as much as I thought it did, so okay. Okay, we'll do that. I couldn't do the quick mass apparently. Hopefully y'all enjoy base building as much as I do. I really enjoy it, um, you know, because it's fun. I mean, it's fun to make things. That's kind of one of the biggest draws of Minecraft is to make things, you know. It's also one of the biggest objectives in the game as well. Alright, let's go ahead and chop this tree down. And we're probably going to go and chop the tree down that has those uh, bird eggs in it as well because we need the, sp the space to be cleared. This one right here, I'm sorry. I'm sorry birds, but I need to be able to see out my window and you're in the way. that's what progress is about right it's all about terraforming so there we go here we go all right I guess the mystery eggs are not gonna grow anything we just have to to use them ourselves all right I'm gonna kind of make this look a little prettier here a little more even with the rest of the landscape there we go that's better Cut down this little bit of stone. And uh, while I'm at it, I'm going to replace this with dirt. And I think we're going to build a little bit of a farm out here as well. Because we'll have the resources in the area to do so. Once we get some water, we can uh, put it in here. So we may as well go ahead and prepare for that eventuality eventuality I guess is the word there we go alright and I like my stuff to be pretty straight and square so that's what we're gonna do um, I like symmetricity I guess symmetricity symmetricality that's the word I was looking for uh, symmetricity didn't sound like a word to me. <laughs> so we're going to kind of clean it up just a little bit here. Well, that part will be okay there. I do kind of want to be able to get up to this area, so we'll do that. Alright, here we go. Or, you know what? Let's do this. No. I'm going to get that out of my hot bar. Let's 
cut this tree down right here. We need more wood anyway. So it'll be good to go ahead and cut it down. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and build out a little further. That'll be nice to have a little bit of a farm area. Let's see, one, two, three, four, blank, one, two, three, four. All right, perfect sizing. We need one more space, actually. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this off here. And make one more shovel to finish this off with. And I need to make another pickaxe as well because ours is almost dead. jump up here so I can reach. some more coal under there but that's okay we'll get it later if we need it that's what we want it to look like okay let's get rid of that and then we'll clean up the roof let's go sleep first so that no monsters spawn all right nicely done I kind of wanted to make the ceiling one higher anyway, so. I like big open spaces uh, to live in. So that'll be something good for us. <laughs> oh, I thought I put that one on the wall. I put that on the ceiling. There we go. And we might move it in one more, but I do like kind of the size of our house. Uh, we need to go ahead and clear up this one extra layer to, so that we can have our, um, we can put blocks in for the roof. For now, I don't know what we're going to put up there, but I'd like to eventually put spruce plank up on the ceiling. I tend to like that color as a good ceiling color with oak as the floor. Just out of my personal Minecraft building palette experience. I don't have a lot. I'm not a professional builder, but I would say that I'm a decent builder. You know, I'm not going to call myself a good builder compared to some people out there, but, you know. Okay, here we go. Okay, that's good, that's good. All right, let's clean up this wall here. I think for now I'd like the walls to remain smooth stone. So I'm going to 
just use some of the coal we've got to smelt some smooth stone up. Oh, and there goes our uh, pickaxe again. This is why we need iron. Alright, smooth stone coming up. The floors will be oak, so we're going to dig all this up too. Oh, it has gravity. That's interesting. Let's just toss it in there then. Sorry, I'm a little quiet, but I kind of want to just let y'all enjoy the building. You know, I will explain a little bit as I'm going just as to why I'm doing what I'm doing. But for starters, we're just building a quick little base, kind of just making it look a little prettier right now. And I'm um, getting what we need, you know. So that's that. Wait a second, the walls are staying smooth stone. I just said that. But I need to get rid of this die, right? Now oh, there's some behind there. Ugh. Well, I'll just have to rebuild this little area here. That'll be okay. Okay, here we go. All right, and then that's going to be ceiling. Okay, so smooth stone's cooking up. Um, let's get our oak planks just made up real quick. I know people would say, well, that's a waste of wood, you know, why are you doing that? But I want to make it look nice. I mean, I know it's the first, you know, the second episode, and we really should be saving our resources for whatever, but, you know, I just want it to look pretty. We can put our doors back on here. Might need more glass than this. I think I need one more set of glass panes here. Make another furnace. This will smelt all of it just fine.
kind of good. to look a little nicer, you know, more natural. That's all I wanted. All right, all right, all right, all right. I don't like how there's that one piece right there of dirt, so I'm going to waste a little of our smooth stone just to put a piece of right there. Shouldn't have put any in that corner. Oh well, it'll be all right. Okay. Wait, this top one's gonna be um, the top layer is gonna be ceiling, so I don't need that. Okay, more glass panes to make our window with. Perfection. There we go. That looks nice. Ooh, a hummingbird. I haven't got one of you yet. Yeah, hummingbird red. Nice. That's cool. Okay, so we've got our window done. We've got our floor done. Our walls are about to be finished up. Then all we need to do is get... Um, so we need uh, two more pieces of smooth stone. One more piece of smooth stone. Now all we need is spruce planks, which is going to be kind of tough to do. I'm not going to bother smelting that because cobblestone is more useful, but I wanted it to look pretty. Okay. All right, let's sleep again. Sleep the night away. <coughs> let's put up our torches where we had them before. And we're going to put our lanterns up right in the middle. One right there. One right there. We'll put some more torches around the mine shaft interest entrance right there. And then with this, we're gonna do need some more doors here. Um That's not going to work. We're going to have to break some of our window for this. That's okay. We have plenty of sand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So we'll have a mostly a good window here. Put our mine shaft entrance up. <coughs> now we just need to sp find some spruce trees. So I'm going to draw up all of this stuff in here. We'll take that stake that we made yesterday. I'm going to take my bird book. I wasn't really paying attention to biomes when I was looking earlier. Sorry. But we should be able to climb up on this mountain and find some spruce trees. Okay, well that's a skeleton. Come on over here, skelly bro. My main man, the skeleton. Well, that was easy. What are you? Hummingbird egg. Ooh, a hummingbird egg. Let's see if we can't get one. 
Um, first, let me put these up and build the wall because I don't want it to escape, although it could escape up top. So maybe I'll throw it in the mine shaft entrance for now. Uh, we didn't even get one. So, oh well. Anyway, there we go. That looks good. Let's get our spruce planks. Spruce anywhere? I don't see any spruce trees that way. <coughs> I know this is kind of a sidetrack off of our main goal, which is to get ourselves some iron, but I'm hoping that we can just do some strip mining to get iron. Spruce trees is, in my opinion, is harder to come by than iron right now because of the lack of what looks like no the lack of any kind of spruce tree biome anywhere nearby I can't remember if we've seen any except maybe in the taiga or something but I don't know that, that was spruce it looked like oak to me Yeah, we definitely have sand. What are you? American pelican. Ooh, okay, that's cool. So there's multiple types of pelicans. Hello, dolphin. How are you? More dolphins. That's interesting. We'll get these cranes. Black crowned crane. Cool. Server back up. Okay. Done in one second. Yay! Okay, I don't know <laughs> what the big deal that that is. Um, I don't like the ocean. Mm. I don't like the fact that the ocean is just so close to us. Ooh, a ruined portal. Look at that. That's nice. Let's head over there and see what we can find. And there's a golden loot crate there. Usually that means there's good loot. I mean, obviously we know ruined portals usually have decent stuff. <laughs> but that'll be pretty good. Let's see. Gold. Armor. Pickaxe. Curse of Vanishing. I don't know what that means, but I'm going to leave it here. Obsidian's always useful. And glistering melons. Okay. There we go. Nice. Of course, there's your standard lava. Ah, stupid magma. Oxygen. Oh, airtight seal. What does airtight seal do? Does that mean if I go down under the water, I can keep air? Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I can't drown. Oh, I love that. That is so cool. I wonder if that has if that does something in space too. Mm. I'm gonna use that for good. Um, let's see. It's at one ten, y'all. Um, I'm gonna be watching it. Hopefully it doesn't decrease just by being on my body. Here's another campsite. I found a few of these in the main area in the close vicinity. So we're not going to bother with it. There's the village. You know, maybe... Sorry, I was getting some more sweet tea. It's good stuff. Uh, anyway, maybe there is uh, some spruce over here in the village somewhere. I don't know. I doubt it. That's a new type of hummingbird. Green hummingbird. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe. 
Oh, there's some what look like some spruce trees up there. That's what we're looking for. Lectern. I don't know that that's useful to us. No, nothing here. Okay, well. I mean, we could get books, but we don't necessarily need books right now. Okay, let's see. Yep, 110 still, so it doesn't look like it decreases uh, durability due to that airtight, airtight seal thing. Just in general, it doesn't decrease, but I'm assuming if we were in space or maybe underwater that it would decrease on us. been in there. Hay bales. I'm looking for chests. I forget. This is the village we've been to. I forget where the chests are located here in villages now. Iron golem. That'd be a way to get iron. We might have to kill it. This is the farmer's delight. Rich soil. I don't know we know where this is, so we can come back to this if we need it. Clay. Hey, hey. I was looking for some clay. I'll take the stone cutter too, just in case. I don't think we need it, but you know, it can never hurt. We'll get some uh, hay bales. Because we can always use the wheat, and if we can't use the wheat, we can at least, you know, make bread. Loot chest. Grating sleeve. What's that for? Oh, oh. Buddy cards. It's like a Pokemon card or Yu Gi Oh card sleeve. That's crazy. Emeralds. Rice. Okay. Tomato seeds. Cabbage seeds again, potatoes, apple. We'll take those. I don't know what they're used for, but maybe they're used for something. I don't know. Okay, well. This is kind of funny. Okay. I really don't know what Buddy Cards is. I have never heard of that mod. That's useful. Brewing stand. May as well take it. No loot chest in here. I'm fairly sure there used to be a chest in the towers, but I don't know if they that was changed in the newest update or something. Rubber duck. Okay. More cabbage seeds. Apples, grating sleeves, bread, rice, potatoes, golden nuggets. Right, I'll sleep. So I'm wondering that O2 bar at the bottom from that airtight seal, I'm wondering if the reason it's got red on it is because our armor has a little bit of durability taken off, and as we lose durability, we'll lose the airtight seal. Ah, here we go. This is a good place right here. What you got for me, buddy? Iron? Oh yeah, that's what I like to see. Iron. Diamonds. Goodness, I have never seen that buddy card pack. Okay, that is a crazy stinking chest, man. Okay, what is this? Doctor Lazuli, one of the most useless doctors. Snowbell, she's the prettiest form of water. Rock doesn't actually like rock; prefers heavy metal. Okay, Doctor Lazuli. Um, what? I don't know what. Okay. How does this work? Okay. Buddy Steel Blend. Buddy Card Guidebook. Buddy card binder. Okay, I guess we need to make the buddy card guidebook and that'll tell us what we need to do. So we'll go get a book from one of the bookshelf places and uh, try that.
there's some more houses over there but let's go get a book first and we'll see what it does I don't know what kind of uses buddy cards have but we're about to find out I suppose Buddy card sets. Okay, welcome to the world of buddy cards. Buddy cards are collectibles that you can find and collect all over your world. Happy collecting. Base set. Most vanilla structures. My chat villages. Okay. Also find packs rarely when killing younger zombies, villagers, and zombie villagers. There are 27 cards in this set total. So it's just a collectible? Okay, what about these um, grading sleeves? What is this for? Grading sleeves are not for the casual buddy card collector. You have been warned. Grading sleeves allow you to grade cards by holding it in your offhand with an ungraded card in your main hand. It will get w one of five grades. Grading sleeves are relatively cheap, but can also be found naturally in villages, bastions, in cities, shipwrecks, and buried treasures. Grade D is the most common grade to get when you grade a card. These cards are below average quality and extremely common. Uh, great. See the second. Okay, so it's just collectibles. Okay, so if we just do this, if we put these in our offhand. Grade A. Grade A. Grade D. Okay, so we've graded our buddy cards now. <laughs> For some reason, I don't know what's going on with that, but okay, we're gonna leave that alone. I just, uh, that's gonna be kind of interesting. I don't know what comes from that. Oh, goodness, is that a cave? We've got iron now, so we don't necessarily need it, but we can still use stuff. Wait a sec. Have we been over here? I don't think so. What's in here? Big chest. More tomato seeds, rice, apples, bread, or potatoes, I mean, that's fine. What are you? A peacock. An, an Indian peafowl. Okay, I guess that's the same thing. I don't know. Is that a pheasant, or what is this? Just a, a female Indian peafowl. Okay. Interesting. Regardless, our whole point of this expedition was to get spruce, not dark oak. Oh, I thought that was spruce. You were going to make me happy for a second. Said all you've given me is these buddy card things. Like, there's nothing I can do with those. They're just collectibles. And yeah, I guess it's cool, but... I'm not really a collectible kind of person. I'm more of a, let's complete all the quests. He said I could get some from killing baby village. <laughs> no, I'm not like that. I'm not like that. Who am I kidding? I'd kill baby villagers for n nothing. Finally, some spruce. This is what we came for. Let's get rid of something out of our inventory. Please just give me something I can get rid of. What do we have that I don't need? I don't know what this is for. Can we use this for anything? What does that do? Um, okay, let's keep the rubber ducks. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what that does, but... Okay. You know what we can do? Is we can eat these potatoes. There we go. one spruce tree. We'll grab this. Well, I wish we could grab the sapling, but we can't. Although we can make...
can make some bread and then that will uh, save us from the issue here give us one extra space in our inventory there we go I don't need sticks alright because we'll take the sapling so we can go back home and grow spruce trees looks like this is going to be the last tree we're going to be able to collect because our axe is going to break but that'll be okay oh well I was using those hay bales <laughs> oops well I'll just use this we're just going to have to finish chopping the tree down by hand but that'll be okay got our spruce wood that we needed. We might end up needing more than that, but I hope not. We're going to go back to our home, which is off in this direction, about 700 and some odd blocks probably. No, it's more like 600 blocks. 600 blocks in this direction takes us back to home. across the wide open plains hey look there's that oil we had found I don't know what kind of egg this is yes I do it's a cockatoo we've already discovered that one do 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 just need to go straight this way and we will be back home We'll be coming round the mountain when we come back home. Okay. Let's see what we can do, what we can do. Oh, there's a magpie. What have you got in your beak, magpie? Hello? Flint. Be useful, but I don't know. Maybe not right now. String, no. I'm only gonna get iron if they have any iron. I don't see any iron. Oh, well, it's almost nighttime. We need to hurry to get home. Come on. I'm not going around the mountain anymore. I'm just going over it. Come on. We got another 200 blocks to go. Get home. Get home. It's getting dark. We're going to die. No, we're not. I'm not going to let us die. Not on episode 2. Maybe episode 3. But not episode 2. <laughs> Episodes two is just early to too early to die. You know what I mean? Okay, around the corner, around the corner, around the corner. Here we go. There we go. It is. There's our home. Let me in. Let me sleep. Okay, we're gonna sleep. We're gonna do our roof. And um, then we'll probably plant those spruce saplings. Let's get a lot of this stuff out of our inventory though. Anything that we can that's extra. Um, the rest of it, I guess, can go over here.
All right, here we go. thing I want to do. Well, we can only make eight stairs. How many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Well, shoot, we don't have enough, do we? Maybe if I had made slabs instead of stairs. I just need... We do have some bones, though. So I'm going to grab that. I'm going to grab this and that. And I'm going to make another axe and then hopefully we can grow some trees okay that's all we need we just needed one tree This will give us enough wood to finish off. Actually, I think I need two sets. extra stairs. I hate that. But it's okay. Alright. Alright. Looks good, doesn't it? Let's um put some stone here to make it even. I think I would prefer it that way. No, I don't want to burn spruce saplings. I'll burn birch and oak though. My oak will do that fine. And then once we have this stone in place it should call the end of our house building section of this um, let's play for now. The first section of house building is going to be complete in just a second here. Once we have this stone made. Alright, one, two, three, four. There it is. That's our nice little house. And we've got enough room for a farm out front. Um, we might could build some stairs, some fences. And we've got our little entrance over here. I wonder how much would it take for us to build some fences? Speaking of fences.
Sorry. Uh, let's see. All right. Let's see. This is going to be not nearly enough, but. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We need twelve more, so let's get some some more wood. And this will be our little home making video. And that'll be good for us today. That's all we need to do today. So in case you're wondering, I'm recording this video right after the last video so that's why all the chat logs are still there and everything but um the next video probably I'm not going to record again today I might but I'm probably not so the next video will probably be a little bit after so, but these two videos were right next to each other but this is the first real day I've had in a while to actually sit down and do this, so it's kind of cool. All right, let's get these saplings up. Let's go make the last little bit of fences for us. So 12 fences. How many does one recipe make? Uh, three, so we need four recipes. So that's two. Four, put those up. Bam. There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just had to sneeze. Oh, there's a wandering trader. There we go looks nice and then just to top it off here just stick a few pieces of dirt to keep from uh, people from coming in alright looks pretty good to me everybody let's um, talk to this trader trader person pumpkin season nautilus shell birch sapling pumpkin fire coral and globe might would have traded for nautilus shells if we had enough um, emeralds, but we've only got three emeralds, so you can go away, Mr. Trader. All right, let's uh, walk out here and take a look at our lovely abode here. We're gonna get up on these trees over here and uh, take a quick look at it, just kind of see where we're at. We've still got to do a little bit of mining, but that'll come in a later episode. Probably the next one will be mining. This episode I wanted to spend on homemaking because I figure that every good series needs to have a first little bit of homemaking just to get your house into ship top shape. So here we go. There it is. You've got your entrance on the right. Come inside. You've got the main area. You know, entrance out to the farm. We're going to have a little bit of a farm out there. Nice big window on the wall. And, uh, a little overhang at the top so that's pretty cool if I say so myself I enjoy it at least it looks good to me a fence around the farm and uh, yeah we've got adequate lighting um, we might if I don't kill myself let's stick a couple of torches out here on the fence just cuz we can see it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven two three four five there yeah. let's get some more torches made stupid alpacas always getting in the way of everything See that it's one, two, three, four. Mm. 
There we go. He's going invisible now, which means it's night time. We're going to go to sleep. Sleep the night away one more time. We are now at a home. Sweet home. So that'll be good there. And then let's put some torches on the outside of the main door, because that's always good to have. And that's our home. I like it. Hopefully I'll do too. Just to match it up. All right. So here we go. You come in from the outside, walk up the stairs, come to the entrance inside the home. You see here we've got our chest, our crafting table and furnaces, um, barrel in the corner, we've got our bed, we've got mine shaft which will go down, that'll come next video, and then the exit to the farm, nice little farm area. And just to top it off, did I have some extra sticks somewhere? I'm Oh, I did. I thought I'd just put them in here, but maybe not. Oh well. Um, oh, I used them for torches, obviously. Alright, it makes three at a time now. I'm still getting used to the new crafting recipes. Alright. YouTube. Home and producers base. YouTube producers home base. There we go. That looks pretty good. All right. I think that looks good to me. That'll end off uh, this one. Uh, so yeah, hope everybody enjoyed that. We did a little bit of exploration, got a few resources. We did successfully get iron, so you know what? Before we leave off, we're going to go ahead and make our smithing table, which was our main goal. Um, you know, that's what we need for our for making everything. There we go, smithing table completed. It's going to be over here. So now we can make our uh, stuff from our quests, our quest book, the mechanical press. We can use the smithing table to make what we need to make. Um, so, because that smithing table is going to be one of our biggest pieces of equipment to use in the rest of this series. So, anyway, I hope that you all have enjoyed this video. If you did, you know, you can like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Um, let me know for any suggestions that you might have in the future. I understand that, yes, I went into creative mode for just a second, but like I said, all I did was look around. I promise I did not script any of this. I did not do anything to mess with any of this, and you can take a look at that um, at the chat logs and see that. You can see I went creative. I found two birds because I just searched around, and then back to survival. But either way... Um, you can check chat, log, chat logs all the way back. You can see where we took a screenshot of the original house, where, we, where we've done all the achievements, and I did not receive any achievements. I, if I had put diamonds in the chest or something, I would have gotten the achievement in this section. Anyway, just to lay suspicions to rest. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And um, if you did, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you next time. This is me signing off, and I've been producing videos. Goodbye.